Chinese brothers and sisters, unfortunately, I am unable to extend this extremely worthwhile demonstration. However, I did want to send a message of support from our local union. The CAW as a whole recently passed a resolution on the issue of precarious work, which is like temporary work. Precarious work is rapidly changing the employment picture for hundreds of thousands of workers in Canada and millions across the world. Employers want cheap, just-in-time workforces. In place of regular work, more and more jobs have become temporary, agency-driven, part-time, irregular, for self-employment, limited contract, and low income. These are what we call precarious. Work has been stripped of decent wage and stable hours. Jobs have been stripped, benefits and protections. Workers have been stripped of their rights and security. <clears throat> the growth of bad jobs has been a feature of flexible labor markets for some time. But now, employers are using the economic crisis to accelerate and depend and extend this disturbing trend. Too many workers have already become casualties of failed economic policies. Too often, governments support employers in their demand for cheap labor by weakening labor laws and employment standards and eroding the social safety net. Therefore, in the absence of good jobs and adequate income supports, many laid off workers, and it's an even higher proportion of women, older workers, immigrants, and workers of color that are forced into these precarious survivor jobs. We are all affected on both sides of the border by precarious employment. Today's secure job can easily become tomorrow's precarious job. While unemployment is the greatest threat to economic recovery, the pendulum is now swinging between a jobless recovery and a bad job recovery. This threatens the security of our families, the very fabric of our communities, and our hopes for a better economic future. We must all fight, in our opinion, and push the governments to put a North American comprehensive auto policy in place that will create fair trade, not free trade. I just want to say thanks for taking on this fight, sisters and brothers. As the old saying goes, the first letter, three letters of union are you and I. And you and I can make a difference by standing together. Yeah.